morning. We are excited today because we have pulled up anchor under sail. Haven't heard an engine all morning. About to drop this spoon in the water. You think we'll catch anything? We're in the Bahamas. We are leaving Shroud Key, heading south. I think the goal is Staniel Key. It's about 90, it's about 30 nautical miles. Got about four and a half knots of speed. Should be perfect for fishing. The sail is straightforward. Depart from the lovely Shroud Key, which we thoroughly enjoyed staying at for a brief few days, and then head south with an east wind along the Exuma Bank. It should be a perfect day of sailing with an east-northeast breeze. There are two sides to the Exumas, the Sound, which is deep ocean, and the Bank, which is shallow, 10 to 30 feet, semi-protected waters. We're on the Bank side, ready for a beautiful day of sailing. Hey, we're the Fosters, Matt, Nancy, Olivia, and Mocha. This is Cadence, our home and philosophy, the balance and rhythm we seek. We sold our stuff back in 2020 and just started full-time travel last year. Welcome to our episodes, where we are currently exploring the Bahamas. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Well, let's see, it's blowing about 15 to 18 true wind. And we're going downwind, so the speed of our boat approximately subtracts from that. So we're seeing about 10 to 14 knots of apparent wind. About five to six knots of speed. This is lovely. Is this the best sail we've ever had? Yeah. It might just be. Previously, it was the one in Delta, though. This is, uh... You know, we had a storm in Delta Bill. We did that too. Yeah, well, I'm the best sale. Uh, anyway, this is great. I hope it looks good on video. So we found this handy dandy light and I love it because it's solar powered and it charges all day and we leave it over there and it comes on automatically. You don't have to turn it on. So if we're away from the boat, it kind of adds a little light. So hopefully Cadence doesn't get hit in the dark while we're away. Anyway, just recently it stopped working. We we're like, what's wrong with it? So handy Nancy came out and I took it apart and one of the wires to the solar charger is disconnected. So easy fix. You don't have to buy a new one. Well, it's not fixed yet, right? Well, it should be an easy fix. Matt can do wiring. I can handle it. <laughs> but maybe you could do it. Oh, probably I could. I'm quite handy. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Let's see. Um, Motorboat weight. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! How's that, Libby? We're still doing between five and a half, six knots when the wind picks up. Sails are out, they're still full. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, here's a little weather bonus. We uh, knew there would be a little weather coming in with this front, very gentle front, but I'm gonna show you what we got behind us here. Look at this. A big old thunder system, big old, big old storm. Big old storm. Thunder, thunder system back there. Um, looks like it's raining on the horizon, pretty thick. So we left early this morning. We were able to get out from under that, and it's been a beautiful day. So we're just a few miles from the anchorage, and um, I guess we'll see you there. Put the anchor down. I got stuck out tinkering with the anchor and getting it all perfect, right? However, I think we're good. We're gonna clean this baby up. 
So we've been fortunate to have some really isolated and quiet anchorages in the Bahamas, but big majors really wasn't the same. To be honest, I didn't really like big majors as an anchorage. It was really more touristy than I expected, and it made it a little more rough and rolly. Yeah, a lot of power boats. Really feels like West Palm Beach, um, Florida Power Boat Central. They want uh, real stuff. I know. Here, piggy, piggy. You done? What are you doing? Did you feed them all? All right, let's go. Look at this cute little pig here. Hello, little baby. No food, just camera. I don't have any food. Sorry for kissing my camera. I don't have any food, buddy. You know I squealed like a little girl. <laughs> you squealed like the pigs. <laughs> Am I getting Just a snack? cursed yourself. You're not getting no snack? Uh, what are you going to get? I'm not going to get anything. I'm going to get a good time. Good time? Good time. Good time. I'm patient. I'm patient. After playing with the pigs over on Pig Beach at Big Majors, we had breakfast and then decided to go for a snorkel. I was itching for some spear fishing. I hadn't found anything since the Abacos. So we snorkeled, but we didn't find any fish worth spearing. I got it. I'm a lander. <laughs> but you know what? We're in the Bahamas, so even when you fail at fishing, it's a great time. So do you remember the Sean Connery 007? Well, it's before my time too, but apparently there was a, an episode, a movie called Thunderball, and part of it was filmed here right in this uh, area called the Grotto. So it's gonna be fun. It's kind of an underwater cave. Looking forward to it. Oh, so I'm so excited, it's our first cave. Just can't wait. It's a rough one. Yeah.
Okay. So Nancy's out. It was a little tiring, so she went back to the dinghy. It's pretty cool in here. All by myself. A lot of fish, no sharks yet. Uh, I want to see some of these caves back here. So we're going to go a little further back and see what we can see. Uh, here we go. these little squeak sounds. Squeak, squeak. It's the bats. There's bats up here. It's a little dark. Let's see if we can brighten the screen up. And... <sighs> Officially the bat cave. <laughs> is flowing out this way. It's coming in that way. So going back is a little difficult. It's a couple knots. Club. We have old, good, good old friends here. Corey and Alicia. Hey, hey, cheers. 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 Where's the lemonade? Come on, bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Remember them from the Chesapeake? Yeah. Good times here. Thanks for joining us on this episode. We're heading to the grocery store and gonna wrap up our stay here at Stano Key. Hope you enjoy it.